Before the end of the video, I want you guys to comment down below what your go-to bait is in any situation if you guys need to catch a fish. Because a lot of these baits are the baits that I use in those kind of situations. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be talking about the best baits that you can use for bass fishing year round that are going to catch you more fish. So if you guys are getting ready for the 2019 season and you were just getting into bass fishing or even if you have been bass fishing for a while, this video is going to be awesome for you. So let's hit that intro and get started. Welcome back everybody. So today I've decided not to actually go into a store and kind of show you guys around to pick the baits that way. I feel like uh, when you guys go into a store, you might be really overwhelmed by the huge selection of products that there is. And trust me, even I get overwhelmed sometimes. I mean, you see massive walls of bags full of plastic worms that look the same, but the only thing that is different is the color and that can get really confusing sometimes. I know you guys have seen this before. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump into my computer and I'm gonna bring you to a website that I absolutely love to use because they always have everything I need no matter what it is from hooks to lures, baits, scents, reels, rods, anything you can think about fishing these guys have. So let's jump into the computer and check it out. Okay, so pretty much the website that I absolutely love to use for all my fishing supplies is called Tackle Warehouse. And all you gotta do is go to tacklewarehouse.com I'm going to link that in the description below and this is going to be the page that you come up to first. Now we are just going to head straight over to this bait section. So as you can see they have all these different types of baits and today we're actually going to start out in the jig section. I know that doesn't look like a jig but you know j just trust me. So we're going to come into the jig section and it might already be a little confusing for you guys especially if you are new to bass fishing. In my opinion the one we're going to start out with is just a flipping jig. It's really good overall jig style. And here we go again. It might feel like you're in a store looking at a wall of a million different types of jigs that really just look the same. So the question is, which one is the best? I don't have an answer for you there. I think all of these jigs can catch fish and all of them do look actually good to me. But recently I actually tried out a new company called Dirty Jigs. I really love the jigs so far. Um, so we're just gonna go into here and they also have an amazing color selection. So coming into the jigs and wow, there's a lot of colors to choose from. Now, basically throughout this whole video, I'm gonna have you guys stick to two colors. It works all around the country if you have these two colors and that's either a black and blue. So we're just gonna go with this one right here, three eighths. And then we are also gonna get kind of like a natural green pumpkin or brown colored jig. So one that I like to go with is the Dirty 420. And if you're noticing, I am going with a three eighths ounce. I feel like that is a good overall weight for fishing a jig. I like the way it falls, it's slow it falls pretty slow and all you're going to do is push enter and they're going to head straight into your cart right there. So we're going to go back to baits and we're picking the next bait style and that is going to be in soft baits and it's going to be a stick bait. Now the bait that I'm choosing for this one is a Yamamoto Senko. My favorite Senkos are actually the Bass Pro Shop brand but they obviously they do not have Bass Pro Shop brand in Tackle Warehouse. Well, I don't think anyway. You come in, in the Yamamoto Senko and there is 109 different colors to choose from. Look at all those chickens. Wow, that is a little overwhelming. I'm gonna agree with you guys on that. All these Senkos will catch fish, I guarantee you, even if they have a pink one here. Oh, <laughs> bubble gum right there. That's what I was just saying. I have caught fish on pink Senkos. It does work. But like I said earlier, we're gonna stick to those two main colors, which is black and blue, green pumpkin or something like that. All right, guys, here it is, the black and blue flake. Um, I generally go with a five inch Senko. Um, if you wanna go for a little bit bigger fish, I would recommend getting the seven inch. They even have eight inch in a Bass Pro Shops brand, I believe. So that's our black color. And now we're gonna go down and look for the green pumpkin. Perfect, right here, they got the green, green pumpkin black flake. There's tons of different kind of green pumpkins. I also like a watermelon red, it works really well if you're in clear water. And we're gonna push enter again and two more products are headed into the cart. I'd have to say a Senko, if I only got to choose one bait to catch a fish, it would most likely be a Senko. I actually just posted a video about how to rig the Senko in like so many different ways and if you guys wanna check that out, head over, click right here in this corner and check that video out and it'll, it is really informative and teach you guys how to rig a Senko in so many different ways that you might not have seen before. So the third style of bait we're gonna go with today is a spinnerbait. 
and I'm gonna go with the double blade spinner bait. So I don't use spinner baits too often, but I know they are a great fish catching bait for sure. I've caught a lot of big fish on them and at times you can catch a lot of fish with them too. That being said, I do not have really a brand that I like to stick to. Um, I, I've heard Pepper Customs are good, um, you know, Picassos are good. There's just so many different types. I like the Santones as well, those are pretty nice. But the ones that I mainly stick with, I think is like a Booyah, and that's just because it's, it's really a main brand that Bass Pro Shop sells, and when I first started, that's just what I went with. So we're gonna click on the Booyah. I mean, you guys can go with any ones that you want, but I'm gonna suggest going with one white spinner bait. Now here it depends on what you want for the weight. I'm just gonna go with 3 8 ounce because I like that. And if you can, I'd say go with silver bladed spinner bait if you're going with the white. I just like that color combo better. If you're in a little bit murky water, definitely go with these gold willow blades. So we're gonna add this to the cart real quick. But if you guys are in really stained water, I want, oops, I want you guys, what the heck? Come on. All right, here we go. I want you guys to go with a Colorado blade. And the difference here is the Colorado blade puts off a lot more vibration in the water and the fish just feel it a lot more and it attracts a lot more fish. Um, I'm just gonna go with this one right here. That chartreuse is gonna stick out really well in dark water and those Colorado blades are gonna help you attract more fish. So we're gonna add that to the cart. And there we go, now we have six items for $35. Uh, we're gonna go back to the baits section here and I think we're going to hard baits now. And the fourth bait that I had love to use all the time is just shallow diving crankbaits which is a square bill the square bill bounces off rocks amazing and it's just great for ponds in general i use them in lakes sometimes as well and i just catch a ton of big fish on them i fish them in the winter sometimes down south the ones i like to use are the striking square bills don't go to the striking kvd hc shallow square bill go to the striking kvd hc square bill silent crankbait so we're going to come over here and i usually only use two colors and one is this black back chartreuse color. It's absolutely amazing. I've caught so many big fish on that, like I was saying. And if you guys are in more clear water, I'd go for maybe a natural color like this, or you could go even go with the sexy, sexy shad. All up to you guys, but I would go with the 1.5. If you wanna go a little bit bigger, dive a little bit deeper, go with that 2.5. But those are fish catching machines as well, and definitely add that to your cart if you guys wanna catch more fish this next year in 2019. Back to baits we go, and this time we're going back to the soft bait section. One is a creature bait, and we're gonna scroll down a little bit in creature bait section, and we're going to the Berkeley Habit Pit Boss. I know you guys have seen this, Walmart is loaded with this, and in my opinion, they work amazing, and the thing that's awesome about them is the price. $2.99 oh, $2 is an absolute screaming deal for baits, especially when they work this good. I mean, you can go back here and check how expensive some of these baits get. Like the Berkeley Power Bait, $7. And I'm sure you get the same amount. And this one's $3, $2.99. We're gonna stick with that natural color like I was saying. So we're gonna go with a four inch green pumpkin. And I'm not sure if they have a black and blue, but we are gonna go with the June Bug right here. But we are just gonna stick with that four inch and the June Bug. June Bug is an awesome dirty water color as well. Add those to the cart and we're up to 10 items for $53. So we're gonna go with one more style of like creature bait. It's more of a craw bait in my opinion, um, but I really couldn't find it earlier. So I might have to type it in. Oh, here we go. This is it right here, the Savage Gear 3D Crab. That's what you guys want. <laughs> I'm just joking with you guys. This is the one that you guys wanna get is the Strike King Rage Tail Craw 7 pack. This is almost like a Senko to me. If I literally cannot catch a fish, sometimes I will just tie this on a Texas rig and toss it out there. You can swim it, you can just use it like a normal Texas rig. And the main way that I like to use it is actually on a jig. So we're gonna get this black and blue flake right there. We're gonna add one. And we're also gonna get just a basic green pumpkin. That's green pumpkin sapphire. Let's go with the green pumpkin, original green pumpkin. That's my favorite color of all time. We're gonna add those to the cart. One thing that I like to do with these um, is use them as a, drig, as a jig trailer. Drig, what am I thinking? It's a jig trailer. All I do is take off this first notch right there. I just clip it off with my nail and then I thread it on that drig, <laughs> the drig. I can't stop saying drig. I thread it on the jig and those claws are just amazing and they kick 
the entire time you're using your jig. And when you lift it off the bottom, they just flutter and it, it's just amazing. Um, so definitely use those for a jig trailer. And if that's not working for you, use it as a Texas rig and I guarantee you, you will catch fish in a really tough situation. Um, it's just a small presentation. I've even seen guys put it on a shaky head. I love this bait so much and uh, they're killer. So definitely add that to your cart. We're going back to the soft bait section. I'm not gonna click on baits this time. And we're going with the drop shot bait. So we're gonna scroll down a little bit until you see the Strike King KVD Dream Shot. With all these Strike King products, you guys really might be thinking I'm sponsored and I am not. I actually wish I was because I love their company and I love their baits. They just work amazing. And it's really just what I started out with and they always catch a good amount of fish. So we're gonna jump into the KVD Strike King Dream Shot for a drop shot. Kind of presentation um, if you guys are down south i know you guys like using kind of bigger style drop shot baits but if you're up north where i am this is what you guys want especially for those small mouth now definitely play around because as you can see there's a lot of those natural colors and i've caught nice fish on this purple and gold as well but just for the sake of the video i'm going to go with that green pumpkin and i don't think that they really have a darker color of this um, unless you go with that moon juice so i'm just going to add that one right there um, you can always get that lighter color or that ghost shad, Im imitate a shad. But that is about it for this cart, guys. And we're going to jump out of the computer. So for 13 items, your total is $69.67. This sport can really add up. And I know you guys know that if you are fishing, if you have already been fishing for a while. But honestly, these are the best baits that I could put together for you guys if you guys want to catch more fish. If you use these, you will 100% catch more fish so let's jump out of the computer and talk more about this welcome back everybody comment down below if you kind of like that style of me like jumping in the computer and kind of showing you guys that way i think it's a lot easier than just walking to the store and like walking through the aisles looking for this one bait that i'm just trying to show you guys and it was a lot easier to just go through find the bait super quick and uh put it in your cart so this list of baits is 100 percent going to catch you guys more fish if you guys want me to make a video on how to use these style of baits and when's the best time to use the baits comment down below like this video and let me know if you want to see that and I will make that for you guys. At this point, the video is probably getting a little too long and you're like, are you just, are you going to stop talking? Anyway, definitely try these baits. And if you guys have baits that you absolutely love to use and they, those are your go-to baits, comment those down below. I'd like to hear your guys' opinion on like, what's your really go-to bait in a really hard situation to catch a fish, no matter what is the situation. So comment that down below. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button in the corner right down here and click the bell to turn on notifications so you guys can see every time I post a video. Other than that, thank you guys so much for stopping by the video again. See you guys in the next video.